हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सी ए प्रतीक्षा आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन योर यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स वेन वी आर इन्वेस्टिंग अवर हार्ड एंड मनी इन म्यूचुअल फंड और बैंक एफ डी आर ऑन रन रिकरिंग डिपोजिट वेन वी आर वरिंग हाउ मच अमाउंट वी विल गेट और वी आर नॉट श्योर हाउ मच वी विल गेट बट इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द मेच्योरिटी अमाउंट ऑन द डे ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इट सेल्फ एट योर ओन विद द यूज ऑफ एक्सेल एंड सिंपल फॉर्मूला फ्रेंड्स इफ यू विल नो दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन इजिली डिटरमाइन हाउ मच कैश और हाउ मच अमाउंट यू विल गोइंग टू गेट आफ्टर द मेच्योरिटी पीरियड सो दैट यू कैन प्लान द एजुकेशन ऑफ योर चिल्ड्रन और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय एनी हाउस फॉर यू और ऑफिस फॉर यू यू कैन प्लान एंड इफ एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो यू विल फील आई हैव एडेड सम नॉलेज टू यू please don't forget to like the video and share with your friends let's see friends how to do the same in excel friends let's take an example of an investment scheme here we are taking recurring deposit in which you are investing 1000 per month and total number of month will be 18 and the rate of return is 8% per annum now we will calculate how much interest you are getting each and every month so to begin with in this Table we will prepare the details. So in first month my opening balance will be zero, my principal amount will be one thousand, and how to calculate interest? It is very simple. Just select the principal amount into rate of interest is eight percent divided by twelve because I am paying installment on monthly basis. So I have to calculate the interest per month. That's why I have divided eight percent divided by twelve. Now I will press enter. So my interest for first month will be six point sixty seven. Now what will be my principal and interest? Simply I can add the principal amount plus interest. It comes to so and so amount. Now in the next month the opening balance will be this one. So I will just select this and bring it at second month opening balance. Now. Everybody will be clear. The one thousand per month will be constant, so I will just drag it as it is a constant for each and every eighteen month. So I will just drag it. Now here you have to be careful. The interest for second month will be can we say sum of this opening balance plus principal into eight percent divided by twelve. So it comes to thirteen point. Three eight. Here is the formula, and what will be the principal plus interest? So I will just select this, and we can click on this auto sum so that the total will be calculated. So now do we don't have to apply the formula? We will just have to copy and paste. So I will just do a double click on this, and I will select this interest as well as principal. You can also do the double click, or you can drag like this. So once I will drag, oh, so my total investment with interest at the end of maturity will come to one nine one eight four. Now this is the detail way. Now if someone wants to calculate summary, not month wise breakup, then how to calculate? Let's see, friends. Now we have to apply the formula of F V means future value. So I will type F V formula. Now bracket. Here the rate of interest, so it is eight percent. So I will select this, divide it by twelve. As you all know, we are paying the or we are investing rupees per month. So I will select this. Now bracket, and per this number of period, how many installment or how many months you are going to invest? In our case, eighteen months. So I will select this cell. Now we do the comma. Now PMT. As of now, PMT is not relevant in this formula, so I will ignore this. Now, present value: how much you are investing presently? So I will select this one thousand. Here I will do comma. Here one important point to be noted is we have to insert two time comma so that correct answer will come. Now here zero and one two options are appearing. Zero means end of the period, and one is beginning of the period. Means When you are investing one thousand rupees, then whether you will earn the interest on the same day or last day of the month. Here we will presume that I will earn the interest on the same day. So I will put one over here. I will just close the bracket. I will press enter. So a maturity value will be one nine one eight four. 
it is a dollar if i want to convert it into rupees i can do just right click in that i can go to format cell in that currency is there here you can select any currency for a moment i will select rupees i will press ok so it will come in rupees now the amount is coming in a negative way then how to remove this so i will do f2 and here i will insert the minus sign then i will press enter so that it is coming positively now we will tell how much capital i have invested it is very easy so i will just select this monthly instrument into number of month it counts to 18000 now how much interest you have earned we can simply do that maturity value minus total capital invested so 1184 you have earned as an interest if the interest rate has been changed to 12 this table will be or updated so you will earn 1811 let's change it to 10. so it will be changed automatically friends up till now if you have learned something please like the video now we will see the insurance policy maturity calculation let's take an example you have taken an insurance policy and the premium is 12,000 per annum so it is per year and how many number of years you are paying you are paying let's take an example 15 years and rate of return is 8 percent now we will calculate the maturity value we will apply the same formula is equal to fv bracket here the rate of interest is 8 percent as we are paying the premium on a yearly basis we will select it as it is we will not divide it by 12 then comma then number of period how many years i am going to pay 15 i will select then comma here pmt is not required so i will just do nothing now pv present value so i will add the minus sign because i want the amount in positive way just select the insurance premium now two time comma here i also presume that i am earning the interest on same day the day when i am investing amount i will just enter one and i will close the bracket and the maturity will be 351891 let's check capital invested will be this 12,000 into number of year so this I will just do it now what will be my interest earn or my gain it will be maturity value minus capital invested friends hope in this way I have added some knowledge to you please like and share this video with your friends Thank you. Let's keep smiling. Take care.